Ladies and gentlemen, we are now uh, moving to the next uh, panel of the day, segueing into our first panel discussion, Advances in Cancer Detection and Treatment, where our panel of experts will dive into the medical advances in the areas of cancer and uh, precision treatment, if I may also talk about those, and shine a light on how they are transforming cancer care in India. All right, please welcome to the stage our moderator for the discussion, Sonal Mehrotra Kapoor, and our esteemed panelists. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Dr. Sevanti Lemaye, Director of Medical and Precision Oncology, Sir H. N. Reliance Hospital. Ashish Tripathi, Chairman, Epigenius Biotech and CEO, Zar Labs. Dr. Poonam Patil, Consultant, Medical Oncology, Manipal Hospitals. Dr. Shalaka Joshi, Professor and Consultant Breast Surgeon, Department of Surgical Oncology, Tata Memorial Center, Mumbai. I welcome you all and over to you. Dr. Patil, some amazing breakthrough stuff has been happening in India over just the past five years, if I look at it, on how cancer treatment has evolved. The latest feather on the hat is actually the CART therapy. You know, there's a lot of fascinating stuff and, you know, I, without getting into, I'm a bit of a science junkie, so without getting into that, to just explain to our audiences that what this therapy does is that instead of looking at sort of medicine, it empowers your own body cells and your immunity cells to attack the cancer cells and fight against it. We've had the first two cases in the country which actually got treated by it, one at the Tata Memorial itself, a nine-year-old girl. And just amazing path-breaking stuff. Talk to us a little bit more about these targeted therapies that are coming out. So as you rightly said, cancer treatment has really revolutionized in the past few years. The landscape is very rapidly changing as well. So talking about targeted therapies, uh, there are tests available to find out a molecular pathway or a genetic mutation that is making the cancer active and then designing drugs against that pathway. So that is what is targeted therapies and there are oral medications available, there are injectable medications available and this has really uh, revolutionized the way we treat say lung cancers, they are treated by oral medications, breast cancers which are attacking a target on the breast cancer cell. Uh, another thing that you spoke was, was immunotherapy. So immunotherapy is what the drugs that are given to the patient which empower or boost up the body's natural immune cells and these immune cells can then go and find the cancer cell in the patient's body and kill it. So it is kind of honing and empowering your own immune system to boost and go and kill the cancer cell. So that is what has again been a revolution. And there are patients who are long-term responders. Uh, we had not heard of cure or not even long-term survivors in some cancers such as melanomas, but immunotherapy has brought a sea change in the uh, landscape of treatment of some cancers. And there are patients who we would have given up otherwise, but are now long-term survivors. Yeah, but ma'am, would you see the challenge here is the scale of uh, these therapies, immunotherapies, targeted therapies, which means lesser side effects, more chances of a longer life. Uh, what is required at this point to scale these, to make it available not just in one Tata Memorial in Mumbai, to make it available in UP, in Bihar, in Jharkhand? So that is what you had in the previous talk of public-private partnership and uh, uh, corporate social responsibilities and uh, all these things. And the main thing is early detection because the treatment in early stage cancers is much less expensive and cure rates are very high. So economically it is good if a cancer is detected early rather than late, even though a person is having all these treatments in hand. Dr. Patel, then how do we exactly get into early detection? How do we uh, encourage more and more people to actually come out on this one? So one is programs like today, uh, which will reach out to many women and uh, men as well. And as Dr. Joshi said, that 100 tell 100 and they tell 100 and the word spreads around. 
So we have to motivate, we have to encourage, and it starts from us. If I tell my patients, if I tell my neighbors that I have gone and done it, why don't you? And then they also give it a thought that, okay, if this lady has got it done, why can't I go and do it? Thank you.